Hey guys, Robbie here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys our Lego coffee shop mock. Now, you probably saw this at Brickfest Live, but there was never an appropriate video for it. So, that's exactly what we're doing today. Anyways though, let me give you guys a little insight on the story of how this mock became a reality. Well, the story with how this mock became a reality was nowhere in Brooklyn, nowhere near New York City, and actually not even on the East Coast. It actually happened in early February of last year when I visited San Diego, California. While I was there, I ended up feeling homesick. So I got an idea. I should go design a modular based off New York brownstones. So I went on the web finding various pictures of brownstones in Brooklyn, Manhattan, etc. And then with enough information, I took a sticky note from the hotel and started designing. I soon came with this idea of a modular almost similar to the red building from the pet shop and yet something felt missing. So then I ended up thinking of adding a store on the bottom, which is quite common for most buildings in New York. But I wanted to make sure this store was something special, something that Lego never did with a modular, and that was a coffee shop. Soon after the concepts were all made, I started designing the parapet design of the modular, which actually started between four designs I made which instead of choosing one out of four designs, I ended up trashing one design and mixed all three concepts of each design and made the parapet that you guys see today. Anyway, so now that you guys have the full story, without further ado, let's get into it. On the first floor, we have the coffee shop and following on the next floor, we also have the studio apartment. And like other modular buildings, all the floors are modular as well. Starting off with the first floor, we have the coffee shop. The front entrance has a modern facade mixed with a classic look that has a surface to represent birch wood made from dark tan and tan 1x1 and 1x2 plates. And continuing on with the main entrance, we also have a 3D sign showing that this is a coffee shop. And like other modulars, we also have the white lamp post too. And above the window, we have two lamps, which involved us using the gold chrome ring element. Moving towards the alley, we see that because of the light stone gray tiling, the alley has a more finished look than other modulars. And in the alley, we also have a few crates that probably hold things like coffee beans or pastries for the coffee shop. And we also have a plant that seems to be growing through the concrete for a pretty good while. And we also have a stone border around the back door, which is my favorite part of the mock because of its organic shape. Moving towards the interior, we have the coffee shop which features a booth for customers to relax and a shelf displaying some red mugs for decorations. And we also have a flat screen TV on the wall for the customers to watch as they enjoy some coffee and pastries. Speaking of pastries, as we move on to the counter, we have a display case for pastries and we also have an espresso machine for the barista and a sink for the employees to wash their hands. And as for the front of the counter, we also have a space theme cash register, which refers to the classic space theme. And we also have some newspapers for the customers to purchase and some window seats. Moving on to the next and last floor, we have the studio apartment. Moving on to the studio apartment, we have a small kitchen in the corner by the window and above that we also have a few easter eggs on the shelf from the lego batman themes and lego pirates theme and the old lego dinosaur theme and we also have a nice comfy red couch and a table to place some beverages and speaking of beverages as we move on to the opposite side of the couch we have a mini fridge in the corner 
and an old style antenna TV. And we also have a bed with a well-watered plant on the nightstand, and we also included a lovely piece of modern art above it on the wall. And moving back outside by the windows facing the alley, we also have a fire escape. And last but not least, concluding with this mock, we have the minifigures. For the minifigures, we have the dude who lives in the apartment and a customer from the coffee shop. And for the next two minifigures, we have the detective, which took inspiration from Sherlock Holmes, and we also have the police commissioner. And for the last minifigure, we have the barista. Anyways though, if you guys did enjoy this mock as much as I did making it, be sure to leave a thumbs up below, and if you'd like to see more mocks like this, be sure to click the subscribe button too. Anyways though, my name's Robbie, and have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.